Actress Joey King, who gained major fandom with her work in the Kissing Booth franchise, has opened up about facing anti-Semitism at the age of 12 and also having trauma counselors on the sets of Holocaust series We Were the Lucky Ones set. Within the first couple months, I got my first anti-Semitic remark and it would dip in terms of how frequent or how much it would happen, and it would kind of roller coaster in terms of how often I would experience it, but that was shocking when I was that age, she said. Now I just expect it because anti-Semitism is not the only thing I experience in terms of bullying online. So it almost feels like one of many symptoms of a grand diagnosis of horrible internet people. I'm saddened, but I'm not really surprised. She is gearing up for We Were the Lucky Ones, a series based on Georgia Hunter's best-selling novel of her family's fight to survive the Holocaust. It also stars Logan Lerman, Sam Wolfe, Robin Weigart, Lior Ashkenazi, Hadis Yaron, Amit Rahav, and Eva Filer. I think anyone who is a method actor is truly so brave and amazing, but I'm personally not a method actor, King told Just for Variety podcast. The actress added, and when shooting a show like this, I just don't know how I could be because having those moments of release in between setups and in between takes with your friends is needed. Sometimes you need that release at the snack table with each other because it got really dark, she added. The actress said that it would get so sad and there would be times where you just didn't know when it was going to hit you. Everyone had different moments where we're all sitting there having a nice time together, just filming a scene, and then someone is hyperventilating and crying because it's a wave that washes over you, she said. The channel also made trauma therapists available for cast and crew on set, reports Variety.com. They would come and check on each of us a lot, which I thought was so great, King said. King's movie nights with co-stars were particularly helpful. We'd watch Finding Nemo because we just needed to.